Hello guys, today we are here back again with, with yet another unboxing and review this time of the new AMD APU the A10 7, 7860K which is the, the CPU that you can see right that you can see right here uh, so this is the new APU from AMD that also includes one of their new cooling solutions which is why we are reviewing it and has a maximum speed of 4 GHz on turbo and 4 MB of cache other than that you can see here that the retail, this is a retail unit which means it was not handpicked so the performance that you get here is also the performance that you will get in game uh, why are the APUs so well known from AMD? Well, because they pack quite a different, uh, a decent uh, graphics punch in a CPU, whereas the Intel CPUs are usually more powerful on the CPU part of the of the, the architecture and not so much on the GPU part. So these are perfect for an HTPC living room living room computer that will play games at seven. 720p all right and 1020 1080p at about low medium settings if we're talking about new games uh, for our review they also sent us an a68hm plus motherboard from asus which we will also take a quick look on it so that we will find out what's inside uh, in order to get the best performance from an apu you will have to review it with really fast memory so we are going to test this 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 APU with uh, 24, uh, 2400 megahertz memory I think which is also from AMD I, I, we will show you the package later so let's start by opening up the this case I'm just going to get a knife and I'll be right back so now we're back and let's just have a quick look at this box from AMD as you can see here in, on the back part you just say that here in Portuguese it has an APU uh, an instruction manual information about the the warranty and the new uh, the new cooling unit from AMD which is the right if I'm not mistaken we also say that we have 12 compute cores, which 4 from CPU and 8 from a GPU, so let's see what's, what's inside. So you have to break this seal over here in order to open it up. Um, let me just point you. You have to break this seal over here. I'm just going to do it. You see this seal here? I'm just going to do it off camera, so I do it quick, quicker. So. I've done it, now the seal is broken, just going to open it up for you guys. Here we can see the tray with the 7860K. You can see it here and this is the instruction manual. from AMD and here we have the new cooling solution from AMD we're gonna take a look at it later after we unbox the motherboard as well I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing because this is not the main focus of the video so as we see here we have the name A68 AGM Plus it is, a, it is a micro ATX motherboard with the FM2 Plus socket as we open it up, you can see here that we have the motherboard itself. So, nothing too fancy. We're just gonna skim through it really quick, because it's not the main focus. But, as you can see here, let me reduce the zoom so you can see it's a bit better. As you can see here, we have the socket in here. We have 4 pin power connection, uh, PCI Express slot, a PCI 1x slot and uh, just a PCI slot. Uh, on the back we have two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports and a LAN, and a LAN cable. 
entrance which is gigabit I'm t uh, if I'm not which is gigabit if I'm not mistaken we also have three out outputs one line in one for headphones and one for microphone we have a DVI port a VGA port and an HDMI also we have a PS2 for mouse and keyboard it's really important to have a, a variety of outputs because most of the users will not pair a graphics card with their APU since they have already one included so we're just gonna put it back into the box and then we'll just have a look at the cooling solution that AMD provided because uh, the, the, the rest of the things in the box of this A68 are just the manual and some and the back plate. We don't have the the cables or like the SATA ones. So let's just skip. We're just gonna skip it and gonna see the things that matter. We have already shown you the APU, so let's go for the cooling solution. That was one of the things that AMD really wanted to improve on because most people thought that their old cooling solutions were not that efficient and really loud. Hopefully this new cooler will fix that problem. So as you open it up, you see that it is a really interesting cooler. We're not gonna take off this thermal pad on the under here as you can see we have already pre-applied thermal paste so we're not gonna take off this plastic shroud but we're just gonna have a look at it so as you can see it has two heat pipes one on each side one on each side and we have a what I think is a 92 millimeter fan I'm not sure a 92 millimeter fan probably or an 80 millimeter uh, one of each one <laughs> it should be one of those sizes and it has a red Color which is good. It matches the AMD color scheme, but it is really an improvement uh, when comparing to the older cooling solutions it has a four pin PWM connector which means that the fans will be easily adjusted and You use the default backplate as you can see in here by this brackets that secure the cooler so I think all in all it seems to be a decent cooling solution and we will see how much we can push the A10 A7860 K with this solution but also we will see if we can push it even more with another solution from one like one from Noctua for example we, we will see we will see later so this is it for now guys uh, we're gonna join you in a bit with the test rig assemble, assembled so you can guys see it work and after that we will just put on some results and comparisons. Uh, you guys might remember those of you that follow our website that we have already reviewed the 7850K. This is just a small update, no, not much different in terms of air architecture. We just have a higher turbo speed. So see you in a bit guys. Hello guys, so today, so now I'm gonna show you how to install the new Cooler Master Cooler and I am re well aware that I don't have thermal paste put on the heat spreader but I will put it on when I actually gonna build the, um, the rig you, have off, you will always have to put thermal paste before you do this because else you're just gonna have really bad temperatures due to bad connection between the heatsink and the CPU heat spreader. So to install this new cooler it's really really easy you just go on you see these little tabs over here these little things these things will have to go in here let me we'll have to go over here and over here just like this just put it on top of it And after you are done, you clip one side and the other over here, this side now, you just pu push it back under, you see, you just go make it fit like this. And after you hear it click, it's almost secure, you just need to pull this lever 
over here don't be afraid to force it you just push this lever here and it's done your cooler is now installed so up next we're gonna show you how the um, cooler fares regarding noise uh, but we'll obviously have to remount it because we use no thermal paste be really careful never install your cooler without thermal paste be right back well so hello guys we're running the Cinebench test on our APU and as you can tell from going and watching the, the build it is really really quiet and we have to remember that this is, a, this is a CPU intensive test and that the APU now we're running it at 4.3 GHz which is overclocked comparing to the base turbo speed of uh, 4 GHz and it still isn't that loud as you can tell even we're pulling the camera close so you can, guys can, see, can hear the noise but it's still really good this new cooler from Cooler Matter is really really good it was a nice addition to the APU line of cooling which means that if you are planning on building a rig with this, with this CPU you will probably won't need a custom cooler unless you want something really really beefy for even bigger overclocks